you know, you're going to be frustrated, you're going to be confused, you're going to want to explode, but you got to have bearing, keep your composure. As a leader, you can't let everyone else see you break. You got to stay strong. I've had guys that quit because they can't handle the stress of being a leader. It takes a lot of, of self-sacrifice to look out for, right now, 80, 79 other recruits um, and not think about yourself. It's a, it's a nice feeling, but I don't view it as I'm the man, this is my platoon. I look at it as I was placed in a row to lead and to learn, and I have 80 brothers behind me marching with me. A guide is like in control of the platoon when the drill instructors aren't there. Not only does he stand in the front of the formations when we're making movements and tell the drill instructors where the edge of the formation is so that they can control it, but him as his own billet, he takes the task of the drill instructors to sign the platoons during their free time or whatever and ensures that in the absence of the drill instructors that they get done. As a guy, you want to finish first, whatever you do. But remember why I came here. You know, I came here to become a United States Marine. And the joints would have been bigger than me. The guy doesn't have to be the best recruit in the platoon. He just has to be willing to work, willing to sacrifice, and willing to show the other recruits through his own sacrifice what it means to be a United States Marine.